Hi, this is Raheem Zulfikar Ali. In this video tutorial, we will learn an awesome concept regarding how to add uh, the opposite arrows with a different color. So, as an Excel user, you know that when you go to the conditional formatting and when you select the icon sets, you have the arrow directional formats are given, right? And for positive number, uh, there, there is a green arrow which is upwards and for a negative number we assign a red arrow downwards but what if that in in my situation or if anyone who is working in that industry where uh, the negative percent is a good sign and that user needs to show green arrow as a downward so if I go to more rules and when I explore the certain icon sets icon styles I will not find uh, the default green arrow downwards and red arrow upwards that's the issue uh, here right so with that limitation i have uh, explored two different methods and i will be uh, discussing in this video and i hope you will uh, have uh, something new to learn so let's say i have taken an example from uh, my utility bill which is k e k electric in karachi pakistan so let's say uh, I have consumed last month units which were 284 and this month units which is uh, 275. So technically I have consumed less units as compared to the last month and that's a variance of negative 3. So which is a good sign and I need to show a arrow which is green and it should be downwards. So as I told you that we don't have a default uh, set here so how to do that now there are two methods let's understand the first method i'm using excel 365 version okay uh, what i did is i have already uh, went to the google images and i have download image of uh, green arrow downwards and red arrow upwards and i have put in in a certain folder on my hard drive okay so these are two simple images now what I will do is I will go to the insert tab and I will insert these two images in my cells. Okay. So how I'm going to do that in the insert, I will go to the pictures and I will, uh, I have a choice. I can place that picture in cell or I can place over the cell. So I will prefer, I should uh, put that image inside a cell. Okay. And then I will select this device because that file in my, so now I will insert first a green arrow. So let's click on insert. So now this image in inside my cell and then uh, the same step pictures in cell this device and then red arrow. So now I got these two images. Now what I will do here is I will write a formula if the cell of variance is less than zero. So give me this particular arrow which is in a8 or else a9 okay so now you can see that because this negative variance is basically a good news for me because i have technically used less number of units as compared to the last month so this is a green arrow because it's a downwards but it's a good sign so that's why it's positive right and for instance if i change the number of units uh, for this month so it's going upwards which is a negative because I have consumed more units as compared to the last month. So it's giving me red arrow upwards, right? So now you can see this issue has been resolved, right? But one more thing is that we also need to do the conditional formatting for this number. And I don't need to show this uh, minus or hyphen sign as well because I can understand that if it's a good news green, it should be, uh, and it's going downwards, so it, it could be technically a a negative but i don't need to see this hyphen sign so what i will do is i will write uh, to so i will write a function here which is abs okay so that returns the absolute value of a number a number without its sign okay and i will close the bracket here but what happens as soon as i apply this arrow will be definitely going to change and that's what i don't want to do Okay. so instead of uh, uh, referring to e6 I need to put a, a calculation of difference from these particular cells uh, of my this month units and last month units okay 
so what i will be going to do is i will copy this and instead of e6 i will paste that here okay so paste it here and you can see this now i will be applying abs function all right okay so now i will go to conditional formatting new rule and if equals to if the current month units okay subtract last month units divide by last month units and let's close the bracket if it's less than zero then go to the format and what we need is a font color should be in green color right so let's select the green okay and that's it so you can see that because it's a good sign so it's we we know that it's a negative variance so we don't need to show the hyphen sign or minus sign here but our purpose has been fulfilled now what happens if i increase the number of units so i need the six percent asked to be turned as red right so i need to again apply that another rule of conditional formatting here so let's do that conditional formatting new rule okay and again current month units minus last month units divide by last month units if it's greater than zero then go to format and let's select a red color for the font that's okay so now let's see 275 that's like that's a positive thing okay and green arrow showing is downwards if i go for again more units so that's a negative news and that's a red arrow going upwards and this is six percent right so this is how we solve our query for opposite arrows which were not technically available in the icon sets by default okay another method which i prefer if you are not using excel 365 but something older version so what you can do is you can go to the insert and on the very right side you will find symbol okay so when you click on symbol you have to select here wingdings and when you select the font type wingdings you can go downwards and you will find the arrows whatever the arrows you want to put okay, this is upwards this is downwards so i have inserted these two arrows in two different cells upwards and downwards and i will apply the logic here so equals to if let's say if the variance cell if the variance cell is less than zero so what we need is down arrow which is will be in green right and then vice versa would be the opposite uh, upwards right side right so this is a simple if logic and this is showing me a different text because i want because now i need to go to home tab and instead of my default font i need to change it to wingdings okay so now you can see that this month units 275 last month units were more so i have uh, consumed less three percent and this is showing me down arrow now i need to assign a green color to this arrow so that could be uh, by the conditional formatting so new rule equals to if this cell is less than zero okay then go to format and we will change the font color remember that because we are using wingdings font okay apply that make it something bold and okay so now you can see that you have the green arrow downwards and similarly the logic which i have applied here for uh, not to show the hyphen sign you can uh, or minus sign you can apply that similar kind of a thing and instead for let's say if i consume more so you can apply now for a red arrow as well okay so I, so now you can see here 275 it's green downwards and if it's more so it's red upwards okay so these are two methods Thank you.